Hello there. Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks Worldwide. Well, the Brick Freaks depends on which channel you are. It's the same video for two channels. In one of the last videos, we showed you here the Resurgent class Star Destroyer or the Star Destroyer of the Resurgent class from the uh, prequels. And was it C prequels? Yes. Or no, sequels from the sequels. And this is a very big Star Destroyer of the First Order, which is in real life nearly three kilometers long, 3000 meters. And you voted in this video, you want to see next the grandfather of him. The father follows in the next video. This is the grandfather, the OG Star Destroyer, the Galactic Star Destroyer of the Venator class, the Venator. And uh, General Kenobi has, um, was the commander of one of this. The ship must be... <laughs> yeah. It was destroyed in the Clone Wars, if you remember the episode. If you remember, give the video a thumbs up. It's a, uh, for me a hurting episode, because this, the Venator, is my most beloved ship in the whole Star Wars universe. It's definitely place one. And I showed here on the channel, not on this, it depends on which channel you're watching, on the Brick Freaks channel, uh, I built the Venator from um, Lepin. And this was a horrible set. Horrible instructions. The, the quality of the pieces was okay, but the instructions were horrible. It was a totally disrupted mock from Anjo. And um, I still thought it was a good ship. And I, I want a big, big Venator, but the Venator from Mole King, the big one, is that ship, only with better, better bricks, but it's uh, still the same uh, shitty instructions. And so I didn't bought, bought that, and um, I love the Venator from Lego, but I need my kidneys, really. And so I decided I'd give this a try, especially when they are free for one or something like that, no. But I thought I'd buy all of them. and. Uh, this channel has uh, always grown very good with Star Wars, so the Venator. The oldest ship of these three, the OG, is the ship with the, uh, the smallest ship in, in original size. It's about 1.1 kilometer, or it's a third of this one. And it's the ship with the least amount of bricks. This here has 1870, I believe, and this here is 1320. So 540, 50, 50, no, 550 uh, pieces. That's a lot, that's a lot. This here is shorter, we have 44 centimeter in length, we have around 7 to 18 centimeter in height, and we have 22 centimeters in width. Okay, instructions. Okay, no problem with the instructions. Um, there's a mistake in it. I don't know. I believe in the last building step four, here the tower, there is a blue one by one blade and it's shown in the different place in the instructions. When you set it there, it won't fit. So you have to put it on another place. You see this, it's no, no big deal, you see this, it's not a really mistake. You see this and think, oh, that's not possible. Okay, the rest is okay. A typical Mole King Go Bricks instructions, no problem at all. Peace quality, good to very good, the clutch power is good. All the light bluish gray is the same, all the dark red is the same, but not... Um, all the light, no, that, that, was, that was wrong. Um, from the light bluish gray, there are eight pieces, these two wedge tiles, and overall there are eight of them. They are significantly darker, like here. Here we have 22 of these wedge tiles, overall in the set, here we have eight. So if you want this in the, that all the gray has the same color, you have to buy them from Lego over Bricklink or something like that, and uh, eight of them 
even with shipping costs are under $10. So for the $44 or $47 you can buy this with worldwide shipping directly out of China at 10 bucks more if you want the same light bluish gray. The rest is all the same. So you see it here. You've seen the pictures in the beginning of the, of the assembly and the set. This happens only when Gobrix doesn't have the mold and they have to buy the pieces from another company. And this was here the case, this is here the case, and it will be in the next set, the Star Destroyer, it will be the same. It is what it is. It's not good, but what can I say? Here you see it more directly, because this is totally grey and the shape of the set, here you see it immediately. Here you don't see it immediately, because we have two colors. We have here the bridge that is going up and the shape is different. And so I think I can ignore it here much better than there. So here I have no problem. I wouldn't buy the blades at all. Uh, here I would buy the blades. So, okay. The assembly, yeah, more of the same. The base is the same. Um, then the first part, it's a frame out of Technic, a triangle you put here on this and then you're building the two blades from here. Then you're building uh, all the things around here and the thrusters, all this here docking bay and all the weapons here around. And then you're building the two big blades that comes on top and last is here the bridge. This here has five building steps, this here has four. Uh, assembly time three and a half to four hours because I built the big blades mirrored. I only build, I have instructions for one open and I take all the parts double and build the mirrored part at the same time. So I save a lot of time. For me as a channel owner, time is always uh, and family father and working class member, yeah, time is everything. And um, if you want, you can really build this easily mirrored because they are totally the same. They on the bottom and here on the top, so no problem. The assembly is okay, absolutely. The, the blades are a little bit thin because they have only uh, two rows of bricks and, and, and blades because uh, of the size of this thing. If you build a, a bigger Star Destroyer, you have three to seven layers and you have a really stable big blade. That's impossible here in this scale. So it's only two layers and with two layers, sometimes you can, they are falling apart, but it's always the same place. So if you are really carefully, no problem. I, I tell this because this is a good set for children, the size, the price you pay and you don't have such a bad feeling if there are missing pieces when you buy a Lego set. When you buy a Lego set, oh, they are so expensive. Meanwhile, every Lego set, the city sets, start, the only good priced sets are often Ninjago or Harry Potter. And Harry Potter is a licensed set and has often a good, good price ratio. Um, but leave Lego away. So this is good for children. It's not too complicated, but it's you need a good feeling in the in the hands to put everything together. It's a little bit fragile, not too fragile. So it's good for children to go to the next level in building uh, finer structures. Yeah. So from. 8 to 10 this is possible with some help of the parents. And I say this because children love Star Wars. They are not so expensive. You can afford them much easier than an original Lego Star Wars set. And if some pieces are missing here, you don't get mad and when it's a 200 euro dollar Lego set. These are not meant to be played with, but you can play with them. You have to hold it like this here. But I believe for children it's not such a big problem if this here is in the way. I believe they can really imagine they are flying these. So 
This is good for adults, they don't have the place for the original, for the big ones, for the UC assets, and if, I think it's good for children, really. And together, we will see when the third is assembled, I believe they are looking really cool. If you have the feeling you know this, the original designs are from one case. And Molking stole them and changed a little bit, but it's mostly the the design from one case, he did three Star Destroyers, one of each uh, episode of, of, the, of the movies. Episode 1 to 3, the Imperial Star Destroyer, episode 4, 5, 6, will follow in a few days. And episode 7, 8, 9 has here the Research and Class Destroyer. So he built a Star Destroyer out of every era for the original, for the prequels, for the sequels. And Mole King, yeah, like often stole them because one case don't sell his instructions to companies and especially not to Molkin because I believe he don't like them. <laughs> okay, and uh, you have a link in the description, you have a link to the set and you have a link to the original uh, replicable site of one case or wherever I find the instructions or pictures of his original design. I don't know at the moment, so you will see. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, next set is obviously the final, uh, the missing set, the Imperial Star Destroyer with 1700 pieces and I believe five building steps like this here. And after that I have three sets laying around here. It's a 1x6, 1x6 Technic uh, Jeep Wrangler with power functions and pneumatic. Then I have the seafood restaurant, a modular building from Morg. And I have a train with power functions, uh, a diesel train from Mold King. Um, so you decide. Write it in the comments which of the three sets you want to see next. Not next, but after the Imperial Star Destroyer, because I have already nearly finished the Imperial Star Destroyer, the third set. And I'm really looking forward to have them here to show you in one row. Beginning with Granddad, Dad, and here, the last iteration, literation, iteration, the finalizer. Okay? If you have any questions, write it in the comments. And I say thank you for watching, thank you for your time, have a good time, and I catch you in the next one. Bye bye.